1. Issues related to the Constitution. 1.1. Basic Structure Doctrine. Why in the news? The landmark Kesavananda Bharati Judgment, 1973 which propounded the Basic Structure Doctrine completed 50 years. About the Kesavananda Bharati Case, 1973. It dealt with a petition against the compulsory acquisition of land by the Kerala government under the Kerala Land Reforms Act 1963, as a violation of fundamental rights, FRs, under Articles 25, 26 and 31 of the Constitution. The case was heard by the largest ever bench, i.e. 13 Judges Bench, of the Supreme Court, SC. Key Outcomes O Introduction of Basic Structure Doctrine, Upholding the Validity of the 24th Constitutional Amendment The SC held that Parliament had the power to amend any or all provisions of the Constitution, including FRs. You however, such amendments should not alter, damage or destroy the essential features or the basic structure of the Constitution. You earlier in Golik Nath case, 1967, the Supreme Court held that the power to amend the Constitution under Article 368 was not unlimited and that the FRs guaranteed under the Constitution could not be abrogated or abridged by a constitutional amendment. O power of judicial review, the Court held that the power of judicial review is an integral part of the basic structure of the Constitution. O other judgments, SC upheld the 25th and 29th constitutional amendments except for the parts that curtailed its power of judicial review and asserted that the preamble is a part of the Constitution and hence amendable. About basic structure doctrine. It holds that certain fundamental features of the constitution cannot be amended or abrogated by the parliament. Some principles that are presently part of the basic structure. Sovereignty of India. Essential features of the individual freedoms secured to the citizens. Mandate to build a welfare state. Supremacy of the constitution. Republican and democratic form of government. Secular and federal character of the constitution. Separation of powers between the legislature, executive and the judiciary. Unity and integrity of the nation. Power of judicial review. Harmony and balance between FRs and DPSPs. Harmony and balance between FRs and DPSPs 5. Ahmedabad, Bengaluru, Bhopal, Chandigarh, Delhi, Guwahati, Hyderabad, Jaipur, Jodhpur, Lucknow, Prayagraj, Pune, Ranchi, Copyright Vision IAS. There is no mention of the term, basic structure, anywhere in the Constitution of India. Significance of the doctrine O check on the power of the Parliament to amend the Constitution. O ensures that the Constitution remains a living document that is responsive to changing times while preserving its fundamental values and principles. O laid down several principles that have become the bedrock of constitutional law in India such as the rule of law, separation of powers, and the independence of the judiciary. O ensures that the federal structure of the constitution is not undermined. O shapes the judiciary's approach to constitutional interpretation. 1.1.1. Independence of district judiciary, basic structure. Why in the news, Supreme Court, SC, in the All India Judges Association v. Union of India case stated that the district judiciary's independence is part of the basic structure. More in the news. It also highlighted other principles. O integration in terms of pay, pension and other service conditions between district judiciary, high courts and SC. O separation of power, offices of the judiciary should be treated separately from staff of legislative and executive wings. O unified judiciary, service conditions of judges for similar posts are equivalent across states. District judiciary, the district judge is the highest judicial authority in the district. Organizational structure, jurisdiction and nomenclature of subordinate judiciary are laid down by states. Hence, they differ slightly from state to state, broadly three tiers below the high court. Appointment, posting and promotion of district judges are made by the governor of the state in consultation with the high court. 1.2. Abrogation of Article 370. Why in the news? A constitution bench of the Supreme Court recently upheld the validity of the Union Government's 2019 decision to repeal the special status of Jammu and Kashmir, J and K, under Article 370 of the Constitution. More on the news. On August 5, 2019, the President of India promulgated an order, Constitution, Application to Jammu and Kashmir, Order, 2019, which stated the provisions of the Indian Constitution were applicable in the state. O Parliament also enacted the Jammu and Kashmir Reorganization Act 2019 which bifurcated the state into two Union territories, Boots. The petitioners had challenged the constitutionality of these actions of the Union. The judgment. Upholding the presidential proclamations of August 2019, the SC held that JNK did not retain any element of sovereignty after it acceded to India in 1947. SC held that Article 370 is a temporary, transitional provision. SC held that Article 370 is a temporary, transitional provision. 6. Copyright Vision IAS Ahmedabad, Bengaluru, Bhopal, Chandigarh, Delhi, Guwahati, Hyderabad, Jaipur, Jodhpur, Lucknow, Prayagraj, Pune, Ranchi. The court held that a UT can be carved out of a state. O Parliament may by law, form a new state by separation of territory from any state or by uniting two or more states or parts of states or by uniting any territory to a part of any state, O according to explanation 1 to article 3, the word, state, as used in article 3, A, includes a union territory. Relying on the judgment in S.R. Bomai's case, S.C. held that, actions of president during a state emergency were open to judicial scrutiny. Article 370, A Historical Context. Instrument of Accession, Iowa, in October 1947, Maharaja Hari Singh, the last ruler of J&K signed the Iowa through which he agreed to accede his state to the Dominion of India. Temporary provisions for J&K, under the Constitution, Article 370 was placed in Part 21, titled, Temporary and Transitional Provisions. Article 370, except for defense, foreign affairs, finance and communications, Parliament needed the state government's concurrence for applying all other laws. Article 35A of the Indian Constitution, it stemmed out of Article 370 and gave powers to the J&K Assembly to define permanent residents of the state, their special rights, and privileges. Article 3, it provides that Parliament may by law form new states and alter of areas, boundaries or names of existing states. 
First proviso to the article states that bill for above law, O shall be introduced in either House of Parliament on the recommendation of the President. O if the bill affects the area, boundaries or name of any state, the President must refer the bill to that state legislature for its views. 1.3. National Capital Territory of Delhi, Amendment, ACT, 2023. Why in the news? Recently, the Government of National Capital Territory of Delhi, NCTD, Amendment, Act 2023 received the assent of the President. Key highlights of the NCTD, Amendment, Act 2023. National Capital Civil Services Authority, NCCSA, it creates a new statutory authority, NCCSA, to make recommendations to Lieutenant Governor, LG, regarding transfer posting, vigilance and other incidental matters. O. Oh, NCCSA shall be decided matters by the majority of votes of the members present and voting. O. Oh, the central government will appoint both the principal secretary and chief secretary. Powers of the LG. Matters where the LG may act solely on his discretion are O matters outside the legislative competence of the Delhi Legislative Assembly but which have been delegated to the LG, or O matters where he, she is required by law to act in his discretion or exercise any judicial or quasi-judicial functions. Primacy to LG, it expands the discretionary role of the LG by giving him powers to approve the recommendations of the NCCSA or return them for reconsideration, O the LG's decision will be final in the case of a difference of opinion between him and the authority. Primacy to LG, it expands the discretionary role of the LG by giving him powers to approve the recommendations of the NCCSA or return them for reconsideration, O the LG's decision will be final in the case of a difference of opinion between him and the authority. 7. Ahmedabad, Bengaluru, Bhopal, Chandigarh, Delhi, Guwahati, Hyderabad, Jaipur, Jodhpur, Lucknow, Prayagraj, Pune, Ranchi Copyright Vision IAS. Disposal of matters by ministers. Certain matters must be submitted to the LG by the ministers of the Delhi government, through the chief minister and the chief secretary, for his, her opinion prior to the issue of any order. These include proposals affecting O the peace and tranquility of Delhi, O relations between the Delhi government and the central government, Supreme Court, or other state governments, O summoning, prorogation, and dissolution of the Legislative Assembly, and O matters on which LG is to give an order in his sole discretion. The governance model of Delhi NCT. Classification as a union territory, UT, under the state's reorganization act of. 1956. Delhi. Was classified as a UT, governed under Article 239 of the Constitution, O it states that it's are directly governed by the President, or an administrator appointed by the President. Special status, following the recommendations of the S. Balakrishnan Committee, the 69th Constitutional Amendment Act of 1991 conferred special status on Delhi and designated it as the National Capital Territory of Delhi, NCTD, O. It added Article 239AA to the Constitution and made Delhi a UT with a legislature and a council of ministers. O. The Lieutenant Governor, LG, is designated as the Administrator of Delhi, operating with the aid and advice of the Council of Ministers of Delhi. Powers of Delhi Legislature, the Delhi Legislative Assembly has the power to legislate over subjects in the state list and concurrent list, except for police, public order, and land. O. Also, Parliament can legislate over all matters in the state and concurrent lists related to Delhi. GNCTD Act, the Government of National Capital Territory of Delhi, GNCTD, Act, 1991 lays down the framework for the functioning of the Delhi Assembly and the Delhi Government. 1.4. Preventive Detention. Why in the news? SC, while setting aside a detention order observed preventive detention laws are a colonial legacy and they must be used only in the rarest of rare cases. About preventive detention. Preventive detention means detention of a person without trial and conviction by a court, on a mere reasonable apprehension of him doing an activity dangerous to public order. Oh its purpose is to prevent the person from committing an offence in the near future. Protection against arrest and detention under Articles 22, 1, and 22, 2, is not available to a person arrested or detained under preventive detention laws, Article 22, 3. Parliament has exclusive authority to make a law of preventive detention for reasons connected with the defence, foreign affairs and security of India. 8. Copyright Vision IAS Ahmedabad, Bengaluru, Bhopal, Chandigarh, Delhi, Guwahati, Hyderabad, Jaipur, Jodhpur, Lucknow, Prayagraj, Pune, Ranchi. Both Parliament, as well as state legislatures, can concurrently make a law for reasons connected with the security of a state, maintenance of public order and maintenance of supplies and services. O multiple laws such as the Code of Criminal Procedure, Narcotic Drug and Psychotropic Substance Act, NDPS, 1985, Unlawful Activities, Prevention, Act etc. permit preventive detention. 9. Ahmedabad, Bengaluru, Bhopal, Chandigarh, Delhi, Guwahati, Hyderabad, Jaipur, Jodhpur, Lucknow, Prayagraj, Pune, Ranchi Copyright Vision IAS. 1.5. Personality Rights. Why in the news? Recently, Delhi High Court granted protection to a famous Bollywood actor's personality rights from misuse by third parties. About personality rights. Personality rights refer to the right of a person to protect his, her personality under the right to privacy or property. Oh, it includes name, voice, signature, images or any other feature easily identified as markers of personality. Personality rights in India. Personality rights or their protection are not expressly mentioned in any statute in India but are traced to fall under the right to privacy and the right to property. Two components of personality rights are right to publicity, right to keep one's image and likeness from being commercially exploited without permission. U. It is governed by statutes like the Trademarks Act, of 1999 and the Copyright Act, of 1957. O. Right to privacy. Right to not have one's personality represented publicly without permission. U. It is broadly governed under Article 21 of the Constitution and the Supreme Court Judgment in Justice K.S. Puttaswamy, Reet. Case, 2018. Posthumous Personality Rights. Emblems and Names, Prevention of Improper Use, Act, 1950. Protects unauthorized use of a few dignitaries' names and symbols listed in its schedule. IPC, if negative reference or derogatory representation is made to any deceased person's reputation or their family, a defamation suit can be filed under the Indian Penal Code. Personality rights under international convention. 
There is no explicit international convention or treaty on protection of the publicity rights to date. However, certain publicity rights can be derived from the following international conventions. O Rome Convention, 1961, it protects performers' rights, phonogram produces rights and broadcasting rights. O Trips Agreement, 1994, it secures certain rights of the phonogram producers, live performers and broadcast rights. O WIPO Performances and Phonograms Treaty, WPPT, it protects the rights of performers and phonogram producers, particularly in digital environment. 10. Copyright Vision IAS Ahmedabad, Bengaluru, Bhopal, Chandigarh, Delhi, Guwahati, Hyderabad, Jaipur, Jodhpur, Lucknow, PRAYAGRAJ, Pune, Ranchi. 1.6. Hate Speech. Why in the news? Recently, the Supreme Court stressed the need for stakeholders to find a long-term solution to the problem of hate speech. About hate speech. Hate speech has not been defined in any law in India. Oh however, hate speech generally refers to incitement to hatred primarily against a group of persons. Hate speech can be conveyed through any form of expression, including images, cartoons, memes, objects, gestures and symbols and it can be disseminated online or online. Regulation of hate speech in India. Constitutional provision. Hate speech can be curtailed under Article 19, 2, on the grounds of public order, incitement to offence and security of the state. Bharati and Yaya Sanhita, 2023, O Section 196, 1, penalizes promoting enmity between different groups on grounds of religion, race, place of birth, residence, language, etc. O Section 299 defines punishment for deliberate and malicious acts intended to outrage the religious feelings of any class. O Section 353, 1, and 2, penalize the publication or circulation of any statement, rumor or report causing public mischief and enmity, hatred or ill will between classes. O Section 353, 1, and 2, penalize the publication or circulation of any statement, rumor or report causing public mischief and enmity, hatred or ill will between classes. 11. Ahmedabad, Bengaluru, Bhopal, Chandigarh, Delhi, Guwahati, Hyderabad, Jaipur, Jodhpur, Lucknow, PRAYAGRAJ, Pune, Ranchi Copyright Vision IAS. Representation of People Act, 1951, O Section 8 disqualifies a person from contesting an election if he is convicted for indulging in acts amounting to illegitimate use of freedom of speech and expression. O Section 123, 3A, and Section 125 prohibit the promotion of enmity on the grounds of religion, race, caste, community or language in connection with election as a corrupt. Electoral Practice. Protection of Civil Rights Act, 1955, O Section 7 penalizes incitement to an encouragement of untouchability through words, either spoken or written or by signs, visible representations, or otherwise. Religious. Institutions, Prevention of Misuse, Act, 1988, O Section 3, G, prohibits religious institutions or their managers from using religious premises to promote disharmony or hatred among various religious groups. 1.7. Places of Worship ACT, 1991. Why in the news? The Supreme Court observed that it cannot order a blanket stay on Worship Act please. About Places of Worship, Special Provisions, Act, 1991. The Act declares that the religious character of a place of worship shall continue to be the same as it was on August 15, 1947. It says no person shall convert any place of worship of any religious denomination into one of a different denomination or section. It also imposes a positive obligation on the state to maintain the religious character of every place of worship as it existed at the time of independence. It declares that all suits, appeals or any other proceedings regarding converting the character of a place of worship, which are pending before any court or authority on August 15, 1947, will abate as soon as the law comes into force. Exemptions provided. O the disputed site at Ayodhya is exempted from the Act. O the Act also does not apply to U monuments and sites covered by the Ancient Monuments and Archaeological Sites and Remains Act, of 1958. U any dispute that has been finally settled or disposed of U any conversion of any such place affected before such commencement by acquiescence. Penalty. Section 6 of the Act prescribes a punishment of a maximum of three years imprisonment along with a fine for contravening the provisions of the Act. 12. Copyright Vision IAS Ahmedabad, Bengaluru, Bhopal, Chandigarh, Delhi, Guwahati, Hyderabad, Jaipur, Jodhpur, Lucknow, PRAYAGRAJ, Pune, Ranchi. 1.8. Other important news 8th Schedule of Constitution. Odisha Cabinet has proposed for the inclusion of Kui language in the 8th Schedule. Schedule 8 of Indian Constitution. O it enlists the Oishal language of the country and consists of 22 languages currently. O 14 languages were originally listed in the Constitution and the rest were added over time. O Sindhi was introduced by the 21st Amendment Act of 1967, Kingani, Manipuri, and Nepali by the 71st Amendment Act of 1992, and Santali, Dogri, Maithili, and Bodo by the 92nd Amendment Act of 2003. Ninth Schedule of the Constitution. It was added to Constitution by First Constitutional Amendment, 1951, under Article 31b. Central and state laws included in Ninth Schedule cannot be challenged in courts for violation of fundamental rights. However, Supreme Court in I.R. Coelho v. State of Tamil Nadu, 2007, ruled that any law added to Ninth Schedule after April 24, 1973, violating fundamental rights can be challenged if O. It undermines the basic structure, as outlined in Article 21 along with Articles 14 and 19. Right to silence. Supreme Court said that all accused have a right to silence, and investigators cannot force them to speak up or admit guilt. Right to silence emanates from Article 23, which states that no one can be compelled to be a witness against himself. O. Protection is limited only to criminal proceedings. O right is not available to a person being interrogated under Customs Act, 1962, or Foreign Exchange Management Act, 1999, since the person is not accused of an offence, and isn't entitled to a lawyer. O in Nandini Satpathy v. P.L. Danny case, SC stated that compelling a person to answer a question within the limits of the police station may result in a violation of Article 23. Reservation for locals in private sector. Punjab and Haryana High Court quashed Haryana State Employment of Local Candidates Act, 2020. 
O Act provided 75% reservation to locals in private sector jobs, having monthly salary of less than ours. 30,000. HC declared it unconstitutional and violative of Part 3, Fundamental Rights, of the Constitution of India. O It also said that Act violates constitutional morality. U Constitutional morality refers to adherence to the fundamental principles of the Constitution. O It said state cannot discriminate against the individuals on account of the fact that they do not belong to a certain state, negative discrimination. Other states like Andhra Pradesh, 2019, have also enacted similar acts. Other states like Andhra Pradesh, 2019, have also enacted similar acts. 13. Ahmedabad, Bengaluru, Bhopal, Chandigarh, Delhi, Guwahati, Hyderabad, Jaipur, Jodhpur, Lucknow, PRAYAGRAJ, Pune, Ranchi, Copyright Vision IAS. Affirmative action. Affirmative action means positive action, discrimination which was introduced in US to counter historical patterns of prejudice against individuals with certain identities e.g. Black, Hispanic and other minority students. Reservation is a system of affirmative action in India that provides historically disadvantaged groups representation in education, employment, government schemes, scholarships, and politics. O Article 15, 4, and 16, 4, allows the government to provide for reservation. O Reservation quota fixed at 50%, Indra Swani judgment, for OBC, SC and ST in both employment and education. Ranganath Mishra Commission. About Ranganath Mishra Commission O it is officially known as National Commission for Religious and Linguistic Minorities. O it was constituted to look into various issues related to linguistic and religious minorities in the country. O report by commission, 2007, recommended that scheduled caste status be completely delinked from religion and be made religion neutral like STs. O it had recommended permitting Dalits who converted to Islam and Christianity to avail scheduled caste status. Article 355 Article 355 is a part of emergency provisions contained in Part 18 of the Constitution, from Article 352 to 360, O Article 355 says that, it shall be the duty of union to protect every state against external aggression and internal disturbance and to ensure that government of every state is carried on in accordance with provisions of this Constitution. Right to walk. Punjab has become the first state to implement the, right to walk. Right to walk make it mandatory for all road-owning agencies, including the NHAI, to provide footpaths and cycle tracks on the road. 14. Copyright Vision IAS Ahmedabad, Bengaluru, Bhopal, Chandigarh, Delhi.